Now then, welcome to the video. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to all you likers, watchers, subscribers and commenters. If you've got out to say, or you've even got a question, stick it in the comment box wherever YouTube's put it this week. I'll do my very best to get back to you. Now, we've had loads of questions last week about why I jumped into the canal to clear the prop. Why didn't I use the weed hatch? Well, on Laura, the weed hatch is located underneath the back deck. The only access to this area is via the engine room. Nobody asked that! <laughs> It'd be a lot more intimidating if you didn't have your cherry bake on that. <laughs> so, the Ribble Link Crossing. What on earth happened? Let's have a look at how far we went. Okay then, it's the technical map time, which means we have the upgraded pointy screwdriver. We left you last time, we were setting off from Tartan Sealock here. We were doing the River Douglas, the River Ribble, Savick Brook, and then all the way up to Lancaster Canal. That didn't happen. We ran aground somewhere around here. We actually have the what three words um, location. It's sunbeam, vaulting and blazing. We waited there for the next tide, which was around about 11.30. The RL and I turned up and told us through a load of debris, lots of trees coming down to Preston Docks, just here where Laura left a lasting impression on the locked door and held up an umpty million pound lifeboat. Shall we crack on? From the moment we lost engine power, Laura headed for shore. We didn't get a chance to chuck out the anchor as Debbie had gone to powder her nose. It was a gentle grounding and within 10 minutes we were completely out of the water. As you can see, once the water had gone, we were left on a ledge. Six foot further to the middle of the river, it drops eight to ten foot. You can see the piles of rocks on the other side. Glad we didn't land there. The next few hours flew by. The RNLI checked up on us and said they'd come back with the big boat at the next high tide. And bang on high tide, they turned up. Well, you can actually see how quick that tide's coming in and they're just sat still in the water. I said, you can see how quick the tide's coming in, and they're just sat still on the water. Oh, 
they're getting the tow rope, aren't they? There was a bit of drama refloating Laura. They hadn't quite managed to tie her on. Once she lifted off, she set off spinning like a top. Oh! Oh, we're swinging. They got her under control and we sat behind the lifeboat till the tide was beginning to turn. Then, dodging the odd tree, we slowly made our way towards Preston Dock. Finally, in the docks, it was a close call, we ended up getting stuck on the locked door. The lifeboat slowed down so Laura headed for the nearest hard object. It was after midnight when we arrived so we tied up and got some well earned sleep. So, there we are. We're finally in a safe haven. Is it scary breaking down on the Ribble Link? Yeah, it is. Having seen the River Ribble empty, all the hazards are exposed. And some of them look like they could break a boat. We'd like to say a massive thanks to uh, Preston Docks, River Control, and especially the Lytham St Anne's lifeboat crew and the RNLI. If you've got any spare change, why not give it to them? They are real lifesavers. Next time, we call the engineer again. We miss the next tide. Our engine gets fixed again. And finally, we set off to try and get on to the Lancaster Canal. Will we make it? Here's a sneaky peek. can't watch. If you enjoyed this video give us a like, subscribe if you want to see more and if you click that little bell icon YouTube will my dear next time we release one. Well that's everything on my list. I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time.